You're watching what may be the world's most unlikely art collector. For as this long-haired terrier dashes through the snow, he's actually gathering hundreds of stunning masterpieces that will be proudly displayed on his nose, whiskers, and ears. They are snowflakes, the crown jewels of winter. And with a microscope, camera, and just the right temperature and humidity, a dog's frosted face becomes a gallery filled with spectacular wonders. Take a look. Every snowflake is actually a crystal made of frozen water vapor that condenses into ice. One small crystal may contain a thousand million billion molecular building blocks. With possible formations so numerous and diverse, no two snowflakes are exactly alike. The process of their assembly is fascinating. This cloud bank contains more than a million tons of liquid water, most of it in the form of droplets on the verge of freezing. A snowflake begins when one of these drops collides with a fragment of dust or pollen. Then, it quickly freezes to create a template called a seed crystal. As more water molecules condense, the shape of the growing crystal becomes a hexagon. The formation of its six facets is determined by the chemical composition of every water molecule. One atom of oxygen and two of hydrogen that naturally attract and bond tightly to each other. In a matter of minutes, chemical reactions cause more water molecules to self-arrange into a hexagonal framework, the core structure that defines almost every crystal of snow. Water vapor continues to solidify on the edges of the growing crystal as six matching arms branch out simultaneously. Surrounding droplets that don't freeze evaporate and release additional H2O molecules, the raw materials necessary for the crystal's full development. To date, researchers have identified at least 35 distinctive categories of snowflakes. Each basic shape is the product of small variations in atmospheric conditions, including wind velocity, temperature, and humidity. But snowflakes don't have to be artistic triumphs to fulfill their most familiar purposes. In fact, they could all be uniform, shapeless globs of ice and still effectively insulate and cool our planet. Help regulate the life cycles of many animals and plants. Store enormous reserves of fresh water for distribution throughout the year. And paint the continents with breathtaking landscapes that can fill us with wonder and awe. Yet beyond the obvious large-scale importance of snow, a timeless question lingers in the details. Why do individual crystals fall to earth in such visually extravagant packages? An Old Testament scripture may provide a clue. Then the Lord spoke to Job. Have you entered the treasures of the snow? Tell me if you have understanding. Those ancient words still challenge us to pause and consider the true significance of nature's hidden treasures including these brilliant works of art that adorn the earth. You see, snowflakes may be far more than the result of blind chemistry and the inevitable bonding of hydrogen and oxygen atoms. For while natural laws, including chemical attraction and gravity, play important roles in a crystal's development, it can be argued that the elegant geometry and meticulous organization displayed here imply the existence of both an artist and architect, a creator who first calibrated the finely tuned conditions that govern everything in the physical universe, 
including the formation of snowflakes. This assumption is reasonable because without a lawgiver, there would be no natural laws, no earth, no atmosphere, and no water molecules designed to freeze into objects so stunning in their appearance that they capture our full attention and then silently proclaim, yes, there is a God.